Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here one only. How are my adventures doing? So ignore the whole empty space here. I just need to talk about it a little, a little bit of things before I reveal the surprise as you guys can see from the title. I, I don't know how long it's been since we did another devlog, but you know what? I don't even remember what number we're on, but you guys will see that in the title too. Without further ado, let's get into it. So there was... I think this took like two months, basically. The first part of it was done within a month, but then we had to go back and do the second part of it within another month. So we got delayed constantly, which sucked, but you know what? Everything turned out great in the end, which I'll show you. Um, so you guys remember when I made a poll back then that was basically choosing the mechanics of the game for movement wise and it was between either moving by cursor so anywhere I clicked on the cursor or held your character image would actually follow that cursor or follow where you last clicked or it would be the whole classic one to where there's an image and you can click on certain houses and it would show that how it was basically like those old uh sandbox games that were made on a uh, ruby Ru rudy or something like that or rindy rimpy it, yeah that thing <laughs> so it was neck and neck on that pole but at the end of the day the clicking of on the cursor won that which was interesting so I said I was going to have somebody, you know, turn that concept of that map into an actual art. But anywho, there was, it was the only reason we chose between those two is because I couldn't do 2D sprite slash 3D world because there was really no one who fit like, who fit like the art sound that I was looking for at the time. So yeah, that, that sucked. But things turned out great because I want you all to know that I lied to you. This is all just a big ruse. And little do you know, this lie came all too perfectly. We did not make art, 2D art for the map. We did 3D. Yes, the thing you guys originally voted for. 2D sprite inside a 3D sprite world. Yep, you guys finally got it. I I wasn't going to like <laughs> just totally scrap it. I just kept looking on Fiverr and just made a whole ploy of just being like, and eh, maybe I can just you know throw them off the trail and make a surprise and just just kind of throw them for a loop on how the gameplay is gonna be. Maybe that would have had a negative effect on people of how they saw the gameplay movement was going to be. Maybe they didn't. But at the end of the day, it worked out. Because here it is. You guys won this poll. And the 3D map is coming together. And is being worked on. Thanks to Wolfram on Fiverr, we were actually able to get something going. He has never worked in Godot. He's mostly a Unity model maker and so far just by like his first try everything looks great it's working just fine has no issues i do have the houses and everything i just haven't put them on yet i've been waiting for that it took me a while to figure out how to place textures on the map which i might make a little small video on that later because i haven't seen anybody explain this and there's not really much good for tutorials when it comes to like this sort of texture placing which was really annoying but yeah this is the map this is our starter map at least this could be a placeholder we could actually get something else going it just really depends on like what we do but as of right now this is all the textures and everything I do plan on putting guards up here and stuff like that, make it a little bit more immersive. Maybe guards at the gate. 
Oh, have you noticed that we do have our character sprites? We do. This is, if you guys don't remember, this is the first character that we actually like had designed. And he now has a whole sprite image, but I haven't put in the character yet. He, so he's not moving around at the moment. Not at the moment, but I have been talking with new developers and seeing if it's possible for them. With that said, it's a lot of things I have to do now in terms of adding maps and getting other things going. That's currently what I'm going to be doing today, so there probably won't be a stream as we speak because I have a lot to do. I do have a lot of things I got to move around and rework inside of this project as well. So once I get the map and stuff going, I'm going to hand it over to my uh, second developer and see pretty much what he can do on that for the uh, eight directional movement. We're not going to go four directional movement because I wanted people to be able to, to experience it in a more free control type of way. So you can move diagonal. I had animations made for that as well. I do have other ideas towards like lighting and stuff like that. And a little bit more ideas towards like future things. But as you can see, progress is being made and we basically have the basic part of it. So we can start getting into a little bit more of. Uh, well, we can get into a little bit more of mechanic wise. Um, I don't have the actual like area ready for like, I don't have the next map ready at the moment. That will probably be next month to where that start get started on, but it doesn't have to be next month because you guys, like I said, the Patreon is open. As you guys can see, we have proof that everything is going on. And on the Patreon, I do have a lot more secrets to show. And you guys can also see the images of each model inside of the Patreon as well. So I'm going to uncover a few things inside of the Patreon that we've discussed in this video today and keep everything else secret until it's actually done. So at the moment, there's a lot of things that are currently down low into next month. And I will talk about those in the next month, the things that are currently on the Patreon. So I'm doing the monthly thing. So after a month, you guys get the information for the Patreon. And as Patreon gets new things, as long as that post is there for, you know, a month, then there you go. So the Patreon will be getting a lot more updates about the game first, at least just to keep it fair. With that said, yeah, it's nice. I'm happy about this. Now I got to figure out what camera angle. I want everything to be at because I didn't want it to be like straight up above there because I'm personally more of a person that likes screen over the character at least my add a FOV this might be a good camera angle at least Oops. You know, it's always so like odd to use. It's interesting. But yeah. With that said, hopefully you guys have more faith in the project now. <laughs> so now that I can actually like show new things. Oh, uh, we do have the second character sprite done too. But you guys can't see that one at the moment. Uh I will start on the female ones after I get a lot more things going. But as of right now, I'm in no rush to get that stuff done. With that said, I will see you guys in the next one. I I have to get busy now. Until then, peace out.